Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Yes, I had to do it Christmas in the summertime. Why not though? Now, I have got an enormous bag. It's so so tall, I can't actually fit it all on camera. So I'm gonna turn it slightly sideways for you. It's a whopper. It is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths of an inch by nine and an eighth of an inch tall. Um, which in metric is seven centimeters by seven centimeters by 23 and a half a whopper bag and hasn't it got a gorgeous close at the top love it love it love it now I'm going to make the tag first um, and then do the the uh, box afterwards because I need kind of a big big desk area that I haven't really got when I've got all my supplies out so the tag it's a cutie um, I love the Christmas paper that's in our catalog oh the name of it's fallen out of my head what's it called this Christmas it's got some really beautiful patterns in there. It's got a mixture that aren't all exclusively festive. It's got some in there that are, you know, you could kind of get away with using them all year round. Let me bring out the whole bundle for you. Um, so we've got this one, which is lush, and this is what I'm putting on the tag, um, with the other side being, well, you could, well, you'd get away with it being floral if there weren't snowflakes. This one, obviously quite plain. What's on the other side? We've got the festive fur. Uh, this one again quite plain and it's got lovely snowflakes uh, on the other side and then we've got stripes I'm going to say they're kind of Christmassy other side of that festive fur and holly by the looks of things and then we've got green snowflakes what's on the other side of that um, oh no actually hang on I confused myself sorry on the other side of the stripes are the red which is this one the festive fur has got this pattern and again I'm, no it hasn't it's got that one i'm confusing myself again kind of i would say that was plain um semi plain but with the green snowflakes on the other side and yeah a really great set of papers that is yeah a mixture so this time i've got this i've decided i'm going to go with the music notes i really wanted to use them i have a project in my head i really ought to write it down because i keep thinking i must make it but i'm always at an inconvenient moment um and yeah i've got the project in my head using this but these pieces this one is two inches by five inches this one is one and three quarters by four and three quarters and then this is one and a half by three and a half and i forgot to write that down in metric so that's going to be uh five by twelve five by twelve and a half so that's going to be four and a half by twelve and that's going to be four by eleven and a half there we go I got there in the end and you need your triple banner punch for this now I'm going to do the first and the the largest and the smallest because at two inches five centimeters it slips perfectly in the provided grooves and the smallest one does as well at one and a half inches because these go down in half inch increments so that fits perfectly in as well however this one doesn't it kind of just hovers there so that's what you have to do you have to hover it and eyeball it really that it's in the right place and it is but it's easy we love the triple bag punch for that okay let's stick all these together um where's my snail i put it away don't put it down put it away all right so let's layer all of these up so I'm putting that one onto the musical notes aren't they pretty i'm hiding them but you know they are lovely I wonder, I, do you know what, I can't read music, I can play music, play um, a couple of instruments by ear, but I can't actually read music, I don't have a brain that's set up that way, but I wonder if they are Christmas carols, I guess they probably would be. Okay, we had red snowflakes before, let's go with green ones, because we're going with green, so I've got my festive flurry punch, and my flurry of wishes stamp set, and I haven't got any card stock out, which is really useful, so let's get my block, and then grab a piece of vanilla oh, from my scraps bin well, that's quite a big bit that'll do okay now when you punch out this one here you can punch two at a time and you're going to punch out in that direction so you want to make sure that you stamp with the smaller one to the left so smaller one to the left there and we'll flip it around the other side because I want two of the smaller ones and one of the bigger one and a smaller one to the left there. and that is so that when I come in with my punch I don't need to be twisting it around or, or contorting my arms to do it that's how it's punched and the same over here 
Oops. I've got wobbly hands today. There we go. So let's move all that out the way because I want two small and one big and I'm going to lift these up on dimensionals and I'm going to tie the baker's the sorry the linen thread on because I'm kind of I, I need to get this part first <laughs> done first I should say because um, otherwise I'm going to forget at the point that I'm trying to attach it all to the bag and end up snailing it or stapling it to it to get it on okay and then I want my handheld punch and into the top corner because I want it to hang at a bit of a jaunty angle and a brand new brand new linen thread I get through so much of this stuff <laughs> I really do probably because I've just pulled off way too much there that would be why I get through so much There we go. So that's now ready for me for when I want to string the bag and, um, you know, tie it all down. So let me just clear some space, otherwise I'm not going to get my scoring tool on here. So, piece of paper that I'm working with, piece of paper that is 12 by 12 inches. Um, so a full sheet. Some projects are worth it. Let's move that right out of the way and that and bring in my scoring tool. Okay, so it depends. The first set of measurements are going to be these ones here. So depending on which way you want your pattern to go will determine where you um, lay your paper. So I would like my scallops like that visually down. So I'm putting this way at the top. So my score lines, and I've got everything written down for you on my blog, so link in the description bar. So we're going to score at two and seven eighths of an inch, five and three quarters, eight and five eighths and eleven and a half inches which in metric slightly easier 7 14 21 and 28 now this paper is slightly thinner you get 24 sheets of this in in the pack and so it is slightly thinner so don't push too hard okay turn it to the right must turn it to the right and score it at two and seven eighths of an inch which is seven centimeters and that is that's forming the base so it means that my scallops are still going in the right direction yes we like scallops going in the right direction, don't we? Okay. You don't need to over burnish this either because it's just that little bit thinner. It's definitely sturdy enough to hold up, hold uh, goodies in there. I mean, I wouldn't be sticking a bottle of wine in probably. I'd stick a cardboard base or something in if I was going to be doing that. Um, but definitely strong enough to hold good sized gifts. And then the last score line. Has anybody started thinking about Christmas yet? I have, um, uh, one of my sons is, he has a birthday at the end of July, and then I have another son whose birthday is the 1st of September. And generally, once I've got those out of the way, then I start thinking about Christmas. Um, I'd say my boys are already thinking about Christmas, the ones who've not yet had birthdays, but I'm not yet. Okay, right, so I'm turning it this way so you can see it. So I've got all these vertical score lines, then I've got a little rectangle at the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of the rectangle. And then I'm going to cut straight up these, and they will join that one single horizontal line. Oh, not far enough. Okay, so I'm going to run some adhesive down here so you can use snail uh, because it's paper, but if you're going to put heavy stuff in, go for fuse or uh, double-sided tape. I probably wouldn't use Tombow or a liquid glue because it might make it warp. Um, but yeah, fuse is, is good enough for me. So this part is the back, so I'm going to bring in my two sides and the back. Oh, see how thin the paper is because it's moving. There we go. Okay, whoops. 
So that's kind of the essence of the bag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pinch it. And you, you're looking down straight down on it. So I'm pinching it like that, using my fingers to guide. Okay. And then I'm going to turn around and do the same, like that. So again, just using my fingers to guide down the sides. And that's what gives us that shape. So when I come to close it, it will go like that. So I want to find out where my front is. So there's the front of the bag. And I've got my crocodile here. And I'm going to punch some holes in. And I've got, my crocodile has got different sizes on the, um, for the holes. It's actually got an eyelet setter as well. But I'm coming in quite close and using the biggest hole punch and going through all of the bits in one go. It's just going to make life so much easier. And then the same there. And then I can bring in, oh, I can drop my lovely stitch satin ribbon that is very vanilla. And I can go through all of the layers in one go. So again, I'm making sure I'm still at the front. And then back through. And after I've done that, I can then manipulate the shape so that I get this pretty open look to it. Because I want to tie it close, but I don't want to, I don't want to lose that shape. So just fiddling around will help. Now, where's my tag that I made before? There it is. So I can feed one end of the ribbon onto it. And then I can tie myself a nice bow. Or I can try and tie a bow. So you're pulling it close, but not pulling it super tight. If you pulled it super tight, it would just flatten. Oh, a semi-okay bow. And maybe it didn't cut off enough. I wanted long ribbons hanging down, and this is a bit, well, one short, one long. So we'll have short on this one. But what do you think? gorgeous great big Christmas bag with a lovely tag and you can write on the back of it and show it to your and give it to your recipient what do you think I hope you like it anyway thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon bye